Hey folks, welcome back to another Zero Linux video. If you are itching to give your desktop a personal touch, well, stick around, because in this one, we are diving into the world of Rising KDE Plasma. I promised you that this video will come, and today is the day. Now, I will be splitting this into a three-part video series, just to keep it short. Starting with the fun stuff, picking out the coolest bits to light up our desktop, while also grabbing all the tools we need to make, all, uh, to make it all happen. Then rolling up our sleeves to create a desktop that's basically eye candy. What was Zero Linux? Eye candy, basically. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome to a plain Jane installation of KDE Plasma 6. Now, we're going to be starting with the basics, wallpapers. A good wallpaper can set the mood for your entire desktop. So take your time browsing for one that really speaks to you. And might I recommend you grab, you grab it from store.kde.org, going to the wallpaper section, And selecting one that speaks that speaks to you. But in order to keep things short, I already have uh, I already picked one. So to change the wallpaper, you just right-click on the desktop, configure desktop wallpaper, and I'm going to set the one I selected. Beautiful, ain't it? Now, if any of you know me by now, I like to keep everything coherent, meaning. Everything goes together, basically. So, as I said earlier, it all starts with a wallpaper. Now that we have this wallpaper, we need a theme that, that goes with it. Speaking of themes, we're not just talking about slapping a new color here. We're going for a full theme package. That means everything from global themes, application styles, and window decorations. And, don't forget, uh, and not to forget about the GTK themes for your GTK apps and also an, a, sl a slick icon pack to tie it all together. Usually, I would say pro tip, grabbing, the, uh, grabbing everything from source is usually the way to go. But in this case, it isn't yet recommended, at least until source files are updated for Plasma 6. So in order to grab the theme that I have selected, and I'll show you the themes page on the KDE store, I have selected Andromeda Plasma 6. It looks cool, doesn't it? So in order to install a new theme, we go to Plasma Settings. We go into Colors and Themes. Global Theme, Get New. And now we're going to look for Andromeda. So we hit the install. It's gonna, it, this theme is complete. As I said earlier, I only use themes that contain everything. Type our password. Don't hit Use yet. We're not done uh, grabbing everything yet. Because now we need to get the GTK theme for our GTK apps. Unfortunately, you can't find it over on KDE Store since it was made for Plasma. So we go to source. I'll leave a link to everything I'll be using uh, in this video in the description below. So feel free to, to you check there. So, all right. We need to do a copy uh, uh, for the command. and. We need to make a directory, mkdir, in our home directories, a folder called dot .themes. Hit enter. You cd into dot that themes directory. Then we git clone Andromeda. Now that we've got our foundation laid, it's time to spice things up with some third-party widgets, or plasmoids, as they're, as they're called. These little guys can add some serious functionality and flair to your desktop. So it's worth taking a peek to see if anything catches your eye. Again, to keep it short, I have found a few. The way you do it is you right-click on the uh, panel, Add Widgets, Get New Widgets, Download Widget. We go with... And basically, I'm going to go through all the widgets here. I'll, again, I'll have a link in the description for everything so 
net speed. Okay, net speed works. Control center. That's another one that I have selected. What else? Um, oh, we uh, by installing the Andromeda theme, it came with the Andromeda launcher. You will see it once we get to it. The weather widget. Oh yeah, updatifier. Updatifier. There you go. All right. So we got our widgets. We closed. Uh, for the icon pack, I have selected an icon pack called Cora. This is what it, this is what it looks like. So in order to get the icon pack, again, we go to the settings. We go to color theme. We go to icons. Get new. We hit. Cora, install, and now we in, uh, we select. I'm gonna install the default one. This is the one we're going to be using. All right, we got our icon pack, and last but not least, we need to make sure we got all the necessary tools installed to make our customization customization dreams a reality. Be sure again to jot them down for future reference. So first, we needed Git. Make sure Git is installed. Next, as most, if not all, KDE Plasma themes use something called Kvantum for, for the blurred effect. So we will install Kvantum. As for the app datafier, as it says uh, in the um, description, you will need the following. Um, what's it called? JQ and we need something called XML startlet. Those two packages are required for app datafier to be able to update your plasmoids or widgets. So we hit enter, type our password, install everything. All right. So now that we have everything we need, it's time to start laying out our canvas. This is where the magic happens, arranging everything just right to create a desktop environment that's as unique as you are. All righty. So we got ourselves a theme. So we go here, we go to colors and themes, select Andromeda, hit apply. It's gonna take care of most things. So not, as you can see, Andromeda for colors, nightlife has nothing to do, application style. Before we apply this, we start Kvantum. Select Kvantum, change. The theme is here, Andromeda. Use this theme. Now that we have the theme applied everywhere we need to begin fixing everything so plasma style hit apply oh yeah application style i forgot gtk app here configure gnome and gtk it's because my window wasn't big enough andromeda gtk hit apply for your gtk apps plasma style andromeda window decoration of course andromeda you can select whichever one you prefer i i leave the theme Coherent icons. Now we use Cora, not Cora Light, but Cora. Cursors. I like to go with Cora Icon Pack. Came with its own cursor theme. Nice splash screen. I don't like splash screen, so I set it to none. Login screen. It came with its own. You hit apply, and then you type your password, and that's it. Okay, everything has been set. Now we need to fix our panel. Do you like your panel that way? I don't. I sure don't. So enter edit mode. Let's begin with the fun, 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 fun. So I want my icons in the center. So what do I do? I need to remove this. I don't like pager because I don't use workspaces. I got three monitors. So in case you want to keep it, free, feel free to do so. I'm just showing you what I like to do. It's not necessarily exactly what you like, but I'm just showing you how to rice your Plasma desktop. You got your own preferences, I got mine. So remove. Now I need to insert a spacer. Ah, here, there it is, add a spacer. And add another spacer. So we need the start menu here, yeah, leave it here. Now we need to move the system tray back and the clock we'll take care of later. All right. Now that my uh, icons are here, we remove that one. Then we add widgets again. Sorry if I'm going too quick uh, for you. Uh, I don't want to make that video longer than it needs to be. Andromeda launcher, we put it here. 
and we add a, uh, we have another widget which is net speed we add it here uh what else did we get um app data fire is already active oh control center i think control center is here and check weather where do you want to put the weather where shall we put the weather i'm gonna put it over here all right now we close everything we don't need this we don't need that anymore oh we do need the terminal of course yikes uh create new profile call it whatever you want i'm gonna call it zero you go to appearance and then you get new of course andromeda has its own here install hit apply okay configure console profiles zero set as default okay and now next time you open the terminal it's going to be but we need to edit current profile because we need some transparency so we edit blur and then background transparency i like to make it at 25 percent. 25 apply hit okay okay there you go and now when we type neo fetch there you go you can customize neo fetch at your uh, at your own leisure i'm not gonna go into customizing that <laughs> that's its own can of worms but if you want neo fetch to to always launch when you open terminal and as you can see now dolphin is completely themed themed thanks to Avantum. so if you want neofetch to run at every launch you go to your home directory make sure you show all, uh, hidden files you go into either your zsrc if you're using zsh or bazrc and you just add clear and and neofetch save and now when you close terminal and you reopen it ta -da! okay now that we got our thing now i need i will show you the andromeda launcher because we need to customize this this is andromeda launcher because but when you first install it it's going to be always to the left because this is where it's expected to be by default so in order to customize it you right click on the widget configure andromeda launcher so launcher positioning default which is the left you tell it horizontal center hit apply and make it floating of course hit apply and there you go and you can customize the message so i'm gonna say here greetings young pada pada one and you can either enable or disable glow i don't like the glow all applications use system font settings hit up select it hit apply and there you go if you want to change the picture over here you just go into settings which is over here you go to user you click on here and you select whichever one i'll select uh, which one i'll go into space all right zero me at me dot com <laughs> random email hit apply now when you click the andromeda launcher is going to say greetings young padawan now we need to customize the little clock over here so we go configure digital clock and i like to make it smaller so nine yeah works so i go enter edit mode and then i move it all the way over here and now we need to customize app data fire right click on it configure app data fire check on startup and in if you had an aur helper like peru or yay you'll be able to enable that uh arch news it's necessary to have peru or yay installed of course the arch news part is based on yay or peru flatback if you had flatbacks plasmoids enable it at your own risk right now it doesn't it's got its own issues but they'll be ironed out you can exclude packages here or it will detect your uh, ignore if you have any in pacman.com. It's going to respect them. And upgrade, you can add your additional flags. By default, it uses a dash dash no confirm. And you can tell it which, cons which uh, terminal to use. In case you had, let's say, gnome terminal, it's gonna you can select gnome terminal, yakwake, whatever. 
uh, and this is for plasmoids. If you when you update plasmoids, don't select this. It's still in beta. So it doesn't start pl uh, plasma shell again. So okay, everything is configured. Now we need to show the control center. To show the control center entries. Ooh, 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 ooh. Control center. There you. There you go. Always shown. Hit apply. Hit OK. Weird, it wasn't showing earlier. Sorry, there was an order. Plasmoids. Oh, we got an error, boys. I'm such an idiot. Such a klutz. I forgot that for Control Center to work, we needed KDE Connect, which is not included with the Arch install because this VM is just a basic Arch install of KDE Plasma. And if you have watched my previous video about the subject, that's why I hate K Arch installs K uh, KDE profile. It doesn't include anything. It's just barely the basics. You have to fi you have to keep fumbling around figuring out what you need to install to make everything work. Well, uh, I figured that out. So as you can see, we have our control center. Now, I don't like uh, the thing at the bottom, but I'm gonna leave it there. If you want to put it at the top like I do, you can just edit and move it to the top. It's just enter edit mode and you tell it position top, but I'm not going to do that because Andromeda Launcher works better at the bottom than at the top, <laughs> basically. So in, in order to make the, uh, the panel look better, we need to make it smaller because the icons are a little bit too big, don't you think? So I'm going to make it smaller, 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 smaller. Okay, 34 is pretty good. If you want to make it uh, make it like a dock, you can just make it adaptive, fit content basically adaptive. It's gonna become a dock, so you can do it like this. But I uh, like uh, for this one, I'm gonna keep it at fill width. Feel free to modify to your liking. So with that done, we got ourselves a beautifully riced KDE plasma. Now you can, of course change the icon of this thing okay hit apply you just choose i'm gonna choose let's say because i don't like the default icon the green alien head okay hit apply and now we got ourselves a beautiful andromeda and there you have it and there we have it in our next installment dropping at some point in the future, we'll tackle the exciting task of backing up our setup. Then, in the grand finale of the series, in the third video, basically, we'll dive into scripting it all so you can apply it to a fresh install or share it with fellow risers. So, until next time, make sure to keep all your customization files safe in a rice slash work directory ready for the next video. Trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us today. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed the content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel if you aren't already. And hit that bell icon too, so you never miss out on our latest updates. And before we sign off, a big shout out to everyone who supported us financially thus far. Your contributions keep the lights on and the content coming. If you're interested in showing some love, you can find us on Ko-Fi, Fundraiser, or even become a GitHub sponsor. Link, uh, links to everything I used in this rice and how to support the channel will be in the description below. Uh, every little bit helps us improve our setup and bring you even better content in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.